Today is July 16th, the 15th Thursday in Ordinary Time. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 96. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless God's name. Proclaim divine salvation day by day. Tell among the nations God's glory, divine wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the idols of the nations are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Greatness and splendor abound in God's presence. Strength and honor in the holy place. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the field and all it bears rejoice. Then all the trees of the wood will shout for joy at the presence of the Lord who comes. God comes to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with faithfulness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. God has overlooked the times of ignorance. But now he demands that all people everywhere repent, because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed. And he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. The Word of the Lord. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, 
for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O God, Mary received your word and trusted in you wholeheartedly. Help us to give ourselves to you as we pray. God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Animate us to be instruments of your reconciliation and peace. God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Secure the safety and human rights of those who work in industry or dangerous jobs. God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Open our minds to the beauty and grandeur of the natural world. God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. And for what else shall we pray tonight? For all these we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayer. Now we gather all our prayers together and pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May God strengthen us to follow faithfully the example of Mary, who treasured and pondered the word of God in her heart. Amen. Have a good evening, everyone.